Hey guys, look at that blue just punch through the screen and I'm playing as a Ninja Turtle. And that's a missile tour, except not really. The colors are all kinds of weird. That's an option of these randomizers. This one is a seed created by one of you guys from Shivy Jeebies, also known as Chancellor Palpatine, if the profile picture is anything to go off of. So thank you for creating this, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I kind of tested it a little bit, and I had some trouble at first. I ran into a situation where I needed to bomb jump infinitely, and I don't know how to do that. I never learned how to bomb jump, which I know is like the easiest thing. I can do a lot of the other tricks, but I can't bomb jump. But then I uploaded it to the Plandomizer website and just took a glance, because you did warn me. Wow, look at that purple, dude. Speed booster, yeah, I love starting with speed booster. I like being a Ninja Turtle, too. I really want to play a Ninja Turtle game, but like none of the modern, well, there's no good modern one on a Nintendo console, and that's all I have, unfortunately, at times. I really like this purple, though. At first, the top of the screen was a little bit excessive with that blue. I don't know why Criteria was so different. Yeah. So this is a lot like the seeds I've been creating recently with the Morph Ball in the ceiling. Starting with Speed Booster. But I know you told me that this was um, like a low ammo seed, so Charge Beam is somewhere over here early on. But you did also say a lot of the item locations were nothing, like nothing was placed there. So that's why I took a glance at it, because I didn't want to run around in like whole sections of the map that have nothing in them. So I just quick glanced at it. Alright, sometimes that water jump is a little bit tricky. I kind of like the colors like this. I don't know, it is refreshing in a way. That's funny how little cosmetic things can make all the difference. It'd be like the one thing that'll carry you through playing a game to the end. I like the red energy drops too, that's really cool. And all the ones I changed the colors to, I only applied it to Samus herself. I didn't even do like the beams. Because I think it's like you could apply it to the terrain itself, Samus, beams, bosses, enemies, and I think that's it. Nice. Yeah, now we're shooting those red energy things all the way. But where's Charge Beam? Oh wait, I do know, because I did practice this a tiny bit. Like I said, I got stuck in that bomb jump area, because I don't know how to infinitely bomb jump. But I looked at it, kind of, and just to get an idea of the routing, once again, so I don't run anywhere aimlessly, there's Charge Beam, and now, for the sake of power bomb ammo, I think we need to turn back. This is not an area randomizer of anything. I think it's just boss randomization. Um, and most of them are vanilla, too, from my quick look at it. But yeah, I haven't beaten this yet or anything. This is a brand new thing. I don't even remember where, like, I glanced at it. Like, I know where items are. But I, don't, I don't even know if I remember everything. So high jump, that's, that's going to help coming up this stupid shaft. This thing has been giving me a lot of trouble lately. Props to the speedrunners who just like molest that right wall and at the in like two seconds or less they're at the top. I have no idea how they do that without any kind of mess up. So yeah, I know like a lot of people are probably getting sick of Super Metroid randomized seeds. Because it's like all I'm doing anymore, but this one's from one of you guys, so I figured like I wanna do it. That would be dumb to receive a seed and not play it. Oh, wow, yeah, I don't know what's up with the criteria changing the menu like that. It's kind of... Don't look at the doors or the menu for a little bit until we get out of criteria. I do like the purples, though, instead of the blues. And what do we have in here? Missiles. Yeah, I do know, like, all of Upper Norfair and all of Green Brinstar, there's nothing. So that's good to know, because Green Brinstar especially is one of those areas I check everything, like in every seed. Because even in the vanilla game, green and pink Brinstar is where you go for all of your energy and ammo pickups. I need bombs before I go to Bomb Terizo. Gotta stop at the ship. No energy either. Um, although I think it's enough energy to shine spark to the ledge where the power bomb door is. 
And I think there's an energy tank in there, if I remember correctly, looking at the thing. Because what happens is, if you have a plandomized ROM already, you could go to the website and upload it. And it actually generates the map so you could look at everything. Yeah. As always, when you shine spark and hit 29 energy, it defaults, it stops you, because you'll die, I guess. This is super dangerous. Don't hit the spikes and don't hit the lava. Oh, man. Wow, this is, like, tough on the eyes. I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Like, even that menu, the energy tank, is a bright white. I don't think that was intended. I mean, obviously, if you select the option to also change the palette of the, the land, I don't think anybody would have expected the menus and stuff to be messed up from that. Should I? I should probably get that fifth power bomb. At least it seems to only be criteria. I mean, we haven't been everywhere yet, but... Meridia seemed pretty heavy on items too, but thank you! for not putting any items in those two sand pits. So I'm not a fan of those. That's probably- those two sand pits are probably my least favorite thing about Super Meridia. That whole section of Meridia, I don't like. The long, sandy stretch with the little mini Dragon dudes, whatever they're called. Missiles, alright. Yeah, I really like this color scheme on Samus, like I said. I, it really does make me want to play a Ninja Turtles game. I don't... The only Ninja Turtles game I own anymore... I don't even know where my NES is. It's with, at my dad's house in the basement, and who knows if it even works. It probably takes great effort to make that thing work. But I do have the... The NES game that's not the arcade one, but the, the really tough one. That everybody has bad memories of. I have that, and I have Tournament Fighters on the SNES. Not Turtles in Time, though. I rented it a whole bunch, but... and played it with friends. But I do not own it. And on the GameCube, I did have... the very first Ninja Turtles game that was based off of the 2003 cartoon. But I never got Battle Nexus or the one after that. And there was even a TMNT when that... that cartoon, after the 2003 Ninja Turtles was done doing this anymore too. Shine Spark killing this first Mantis. I gotta do the diagonal one so the ghosts spread diagonally and hit that second guy. That's the fun way to do it. But yeah, you know how there was like the first CGI Ninja Turtles cartoon? Although, it's all CGI, isn't it? I don't know. There was the 80s Ninja Turtles and the 2003 ones. Those are the good ones. And then after that, I don't know what happened in the cartoon world. Because then I got a little bit older and I realized you can't be caught watching Ninja Turtles. Nah, who cares? Watch it all you want. But yeah, there was, in 2007, there was a video game, TMNT, that came out. That was also on the GameCube and probably Xbox, the original. Yeah, so right here, don't even bother. I like this blue and purple, too. But I know in advance from looking at it, there's nothing here. So just... Press forward to the Red Brinstar area. Let's get a Shine Spark. Whoa, what the heck? The D-pad did not press. That was weird. Although, <laughs> if you've watched it, whoa! Yeah, what's going on? That is really cool too. I love the green Shine Spark. Sometimes colors are all you need. I love that red bullets too. See, this is what I mean. I'm, I'm just enjoying this for the, the cosmetics even. That was like my favorite part of the Wind Waker randomizers, setting up Link's colors. I guess Ocarina of Time as well, and Majora's Mask, they all had a feature like that. Down here is Plasma Beam, I remember looking at that, so I'm definitely grabbing that early. Since the whole focus of this is pretty much low missile counts and stuff. Which is interesting, I know it's possible. As long as you have Charge Beam, you could pretty much do anything in this game. You don't even need missiles for anything except to open the doors. So, keeping my eye on that power bomb count, though. That's why I came. I left and came back.
Yeah, I'm not even sure if, uh... You realized I could do that to get Plasma Beam this- Like, I don't know if you- when you created this, if you intended to grab Plasma Beam this early. Because he did also comment on Twitter that Plasma and Ice were kind of out of the way. So I'm not sure when in the routing you were expecting a player, whoever would play it, to obtain those. But Ice Beam is definitely needed. Actually, that same time, that first time testing this out, um, and seeing just how far I could get and stuff, when I got stuck because of the bomb jump, I also didn't have Ice Beam. Oh, nothing there. Yeah, see? Like I said, I glanced at it, but I don't remember... I remember the large scheme of things, like Upper North Air, there's like one room that has three missile expansions, which is helpful. But like, everything else has nothing. Which is also helpful, because I think... The whole Krokemeyer section in the Ice Beam area of Upper North Air, that's kind of extraneous nonsense. So anytime you could skip that, that's nice. Uh, Wrecked Ship and Meridia can be a little tedious at times, but every now and then they're refreshing. I could Red Tower Climb too, I did that actually on my first time when I got stuck with the bomb jumping. Um, but I noticed it was all mostly ammo and didn't really affect much, so I'm gonna go down here and go fight Kraid first. Because I believe, uh, you gave Kraid Gravity Suit? So looking at it, like, the focus of the pickup seems to be Meridia and the Wrecked Ship. Which creates a little bit of backtracking, but that's fine. Bombs, that's that's actually convenient considering I only have the five power bombs. Like in the beginning it was kind of scary. Had I gone to bomb Terezo, I probably would have been stuck. Because I do not know how to do the Alcatraz escape speedrun trick. Coming out of bomb Terezo. So we need gravity suit to get to Meridia. Well, let's go do Kraid. We got high jump, so that's good. But yeah, as far as Ninja Turtle games, too, looking at the screen. Like, Samus looks like Michelangelo, kind of. Slightly orange. I guess it's mostly brown, her helmet. Well, what was that one on the 360, the Ninja Turtles game? That got a lot of hate, but was also kind of cool because you could upgrade the turtles individually. Out of the Shadows, is that what it was called? Like, I remember looking at that, and I was intrigued. I was watching a long play. I didn't finish the whole thing, but I got several hours into it. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I also added an extra syllable to thoroughly. <laughs> I don't know. This is Kraid, right? I think I remember seeing that it was. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's almost like, you know those filter super punch that you could do on certain like photo editing things? That's what it seems like there's a filter of that over top of this whole game. I remember I had a really old box TV as a kid. It's Blue Crate! Yeah, Plasma Beam is gonna make this so easy. That's why I don't know if I was supposed to pick it up yet or not. But Crate's a pushover no matter what. I actually played and recorded a minimizer seed. I don't know if I'm gonna upload that first or this one first. But I made Kraid like the fight was instantaneous, like right after getting where Morph Ball normally is, basically. I like the colors of Gravity Suit too. It's like a, a super punched pink. Or like a I don't know, whatever any one of those weird filters where the bloom gets really blown up. I think there's a filter called Glow. I don't know, I don't have Snapchat, so I don't know any names of those filters. Ah, crud, I was supposed to shoot the thing first. That's always fun. I like doing little, um, what would you call them? Colorful kills like that? Shine sparks that end up being all flashy and do something crazy, like defeat a bunch of, a group of enemies like that. Alright, 15, 15, and 5. That is pretty low ammo. But charged plasma, I mean... I could pretty much do anything except defeat Mother Brain in her glass jar. Upper North Air, I remember, had nothing in it, basically, so I'm skipping that. 
Looks like we gotta do a pass through Meridia. But I believe I saw that you put Ridley in Dragon's room. So I do not have Varius suit. So that's the problem there. And I only have two energy tanks, so there's no fighting Ridley right now. I can't beat Ridley on two energy tanks. With this low ammo, too. Ah, crud. There we go. Yeah, I've messed that one up a lot anymore, too. Okay, Mama Turtle I know has nothing. That would be my next go-to spot, normally. But yeah, I like to know those things in advance, too. Especially if I'm recording it, because it also cuts on the video length. Even though I could always edit out anything stupid, but if I was, like, talking or something. Ah, there's that hole being a problem again. That's what somebody said to her. And we all feel bad for that person. Or do we? I don't know. <laughs> Super missiles. Very nice. I like having regular bombs, too. A lot of the seeds I've been playing anymore, I don't even place regular bombs. Which can be a problem, because power bombs take longer. Take slower. Oh, look at that energy go down. It's interesting how this hasn't changed much in terms of palette color. Is it palette on the Super Nintendo? Or saying the word palette, does that only apply to the NES and 8-bit games? I honestly don't know. And also, what is the first console to stop using sprites? Was it the Super Nintendo? And the Sega competition? Genesis? Because nothing on the N64 was a sprite, right? It was a 3D model at that point. Which, I guess, is different from a sprite. I don't know. I don't, I don't know game design stuff. Two power bombs. That's nice. Gives me options to do some special beam attacks if I want to. I was thinking of creating a seed like that, too. The problem is, like, X-Factor is the one you see all the time. The ice special attack is like a Sonic the Hedgehog shield of ice. I don't know how effective that would be. Spazer, like, rains up and then down on both sides of Samus. That's kind of neat. And Plasma's the coolest one. It's like a spiraling circle of stuff. So that would be cool to get, like, plasma early and only charge beam and have to use a lot of that. But I actually did test it out, and it barely does any damage on anybody. Like, I was attacking Fantoon with that special beam attack, and it was taking several rounds of doing it. To even do any damage on Fantoon, whereas if you shoot him with a regular charge plasma shot, it only takes, like, three or four shots, and he's done. So now, knowing Ridley is up ahead, I guess I do have to go in the sand pit, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered if there was an item down here. And Spring Ball has Ice Beam. I did see that. That's crafty, though. I like the craftiness of it. So let's go get it now before I forget, since it's like way out of the way over here. Cause that could be one of those things you- Oh, I don't have grapple. And I don't know the clip. Alright, we're back he here. If I could get a shine spark, I'm gonna shine spark up to the tube and get to red brinstar. As if I did red tower climb earlier. You gotta get way to the left so you don't hit those, uh, grapple blocks. There we go, that's kinda cool. Yeah, that's like the situation I ran into before. Um... Getting to Lower Norfair is very hard in this seed. That's where I got stuck. Cause you have to gravity jump and you have to... Not go to Bomb Teresa or the Gold Teresa first. I've noticed because Ridley has space jump and Ridley is or no Dragon has space jump and Dragon is in Ridley's room. He's, eh, I hate this room. 
One of these days, I'm just gonna never mess up again. I do that when I try to damage boost. Okay, I seem to... I'm getting better, though. Because I seem to get at least one damage boost anymore in this room. What the heck? Ah. There we go. See? Mess up the first one, get the second one. One of these days. Or maybe never these days, I don't know. Yeah, it's odd, this almost feels like a new game of sorts with just the colors. The colors alone give it a little bit of a, a nice touch. Uh, let's use this charged plasma, that's what it's here for. Boom. Yeah, I have like the deep blue of their eyes and stuff. I'm actually curious, like what did you do for the the slider option there because I was having trouble when I first discovered this randomizer and I was trying to customize the colors like I was trying to make Samus a specific color but I found that slider mechanic very difficult to get the color that you wanted because it basically looks at an interval and I guess calculates certain values off of that or something. whoa I forgot a criteria is all whacked out the terrain is cool it's just the menu if the menu is just it's normal black I don't know why it goes blue all right, I still don't have grapple beam, so I got to shine spark across the moat. Oh, man, again with the D-pad. This controller feels like it's crapping out on me. Come on. Dude, why is it not working? There we go. She's You don't want to know how many times I just attempted to do that. It kept, like, diagonally pressing and stuff. I don't know. That was the most trouble I've had with that in a long time. I hope this controller is not going. For as much as I complain about it, it is nice to have a USB Super Nintendo controller and not have to use a different controller to play it. I don't know, there's just something nice about having the controller that is m a game is meant to be played on, you know? Like, I know for a lot of... Emulators and stuff, people use like a PlayStation 2 or a GameCube controller, but they're not comfortable for every game that they're not intended for. Like playing this on a GameCube controller because of the D-pad alone is very difficult. Plus the A, B, X, and Y layout is awkward. But this game is kind of awkward in general. The buttons... Like you gotta really mangle your hand in certain situations to pull off quick presses of certain combinations and things. But anyway, here we go. This is Fantoon. And Fantoon has nothing, but he activates the wrecked ship, and there was a lot of stuff placed here. Yeah, what the heck? See what I mean? Like, what is happening here? I meant to angle up, and it... It's my controller's crapping out! That's not good! But we're not gonna complain about it, man. So I hate, like, sometimes when I go to edit these videos or whatever, or, like, if I click on a comment and it starts auto-playing the video, and it's, like, a section where I'm complaining about something, I'm like, dude, just shut up and put your head in acid or something. Something I want to get better at is, like, not complain as much about stupid stuff. But, I don't know, I guess it's hard to do. I'm curious what color Varia's suit is as well. Who has Varia? I forget. I just said it too. Varia's here, isn't it? It's somewhere in the wrecked ship. Varia and Screw Attack are here somewhere. It's hard to tell how dead he is because I think the red is being replaced by yellow. I mean, he's bright yellow, so I'm assuming that's what red is. I like the purple flames again, too. It's like blue has become purple in this. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, like, I don't know <laughs> if I'm supposed to have plasma right now. This would be very tough with just charge and wave. Because to non-speedrun type trick get Plasma Beam where it was in Waterway would require Gravity Suit, which would mean beat Kraid in this case, because he gave gravity, 
and then go back through Brinstar and get it real quick. But you would have to know it's there, too. I was thinking about that, too, like, when... Oh, there's Grapple. Nice. Um, oh wait, we gotta check this, too. Uh, what is this? This is Super Missiles normally. I don't, I don't remember what was over here. And that's the thing, like I said, I did just kind of glance at some stuff. Um, after I got stuck, I looked at it again. And looked specifically, like, for Ice Beam. Like, I didn't know where Ice Beam was. And I was wondering if it was even placed at all. Because I think you need Ice Beam to beat the Metroids in Torian. So that's when I saw it was by Spring Ball. And then I saw your Twitter comment, too. Where you mentioned that that and Plasma were kind of out of the way. Because, yeah, they're not really needed. Plasma is like the best beam in the game, but you don't need it. It creates a challenge to not have it. And Ice Beam is just kind of a pain. Because it freezes enemies where they would ordinarily die. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? But see, I have Grapple now, so Dragon's not going to be a problem. Although I do need more energy. I forget how much energy loss you get if you do the Grapple kill. Because he whacks you a few times, too, before you even latch on to the electricity. Yeah, crud. Ah, uh, just run. Oh yeah, clean wall. Nice. Maybe that's how I should get that energy tank all the time. It's just you're not supposed to have Gravity Suit right now if you were playing Vanilla Super Metroid. Which I haven't done that in forever. Not true. You lie. I did practice it not too long ago. And I wasn't happy with my time, though. I don't know if I've ever seen, like, the big speedrunners like Zost, that, Zost and Behemoth play randomizers. I did remember watching Zost on one of his runs. He mentioned messing around with a few of them, but like he didn't like to play them that much. Which I can understand why, I suppose. If you're an active speedrunner constantly trying to improve, throwing a wrench in your brain to like think of something you're not used to thinking about and rerouting stuff is. It could mess you up, maybe. When you go back to play the speedrun the normal game. Wow, I messed that up. I meant to diagonal. I don't see why not, though, because even speedrunners need to just sit back and casually play a game every now and then. And that's the thing, I remember, I think, uh, I remember watching an Ennio, uh, a video. I hate this room, too. This is, like, the worst room in the game to me. If there was just a way to launch these guys into their pits with, like, one shot, like a super missile or something, then it wouldn't be so bad, but it's just like, alright, just go, Mr. R2-D2. Nice energy tank, though, definitely need that. That's actually probably enough to beat Dragon. I mean, I could almost beat Dragon anymore suitless and not take too much damage. Although, I don't know if I have enough ammo for that strategy. So I'm probably going to do the grapple kill in this particular seed. Oh, wow, back to the crazy blue. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to shine spark to the mountain. What the heck is with the R button anymore, man? Controller, me and you are going to have a sit down. It's first written warning, Mr. Controller. There we go. Energy tank. Nice. Can't read it, but I saw that it was an energy tank. So now we got our first full row. I don't even think there is all the energy tanks in here. Screw attack, man. That looks kind of neat. White and blue. Ah, I was trying to make it so the block didn't reform, but eh, it's alright, man. So we got Varia, thankfully. Interesting spot. I guess that I didn't even think of that. Like, a lot of the seeds I've created, um... You know, most boss rooms have an item pickup after beating the boss, but Fantoon doesn't. So that was kind of- Whoa, that's a really green. Wow. I, like, hurt my eyes for a second there. I don't know why Criteria is all- Oh yeah, I don't have space jump. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to- Oh, we're fast-forwarding this nonsense. Run, Mr. Bowler! There we go. 
Um, yeah, and a couple of those seeds, I was thinking, like, what would be a reward for beating Fantoon? That could kind of be an interesting way to play the game. But I guess that's the thing, it would have to be in an obscure room in the wrecked ship. Like, your reward for beating Fantoon is everything in the wrecked ship, because it comes to life. What is this? Oh, it's what it's supposed to be, okay. Yeah, so I'm in good energy standing to beat the remaining bosses, definitely. Um, Ammo-wise, yeah. Yeah, we're good. 25 supers is enough for Ridley, plus charged plasma beam. So I'm pretty good. The concern here now is Torian, first mother brain. I did Zebatite skip in that minimizer seed I just played, but it took a very long time to finally get it. I was using a save state and constantly reloading to try and get it, and I just, I have trouble with that trick. I, Still learning it, I guess. I think I saw that there was a maximum of 70 or 75 standard missiles. If I find them all, that should be enough to shoot down all the Zebatites combined with the supers. Because if you can't beat First Mother Brain when she's sitting in her glass jar, you have to reset the game because nobody refills your ammo count there. So that's the real danger of these low ammo runs, is seeds. It's just, can you even beat the game? Even if you make it all the way to the end, can you beat Mother Brain, or are you gonna get stuck? Oh, that's how I should have done it. I just spiraled down and hit every car along the way. There's nothing in that room. I remember checking that specifically. <laughs> that's another one of those rooms that I'm just like, if I don't have to do it, I don't want to. Whoa, I forgot about that. Um, so, Meridia? Or do we do Lower Norfair first, because we have to backtrack through Meridia to get to Torian anyway? Now nah, let's do it. I think it was intended to be surprised by Ridley in here. So let's go to him. That ah, crud. That, once again, I remember mentioning it. Wow. Speak much? I remember mentioning it in another seed that I played and recorded. Um, how sometimes I try to do the spin jump and it just does the standard jump, like it didn't register the forward press first. I can't tell you how many times I run into that. I don't know if it is just a controller thing or what. Yeah, it's really not that slow to trek through Meridia a couple times. This upper part I have no problem with. It's when you get down below this room in the sand pits that things get a little bit slow. So let's just go to the boss. Dragon is still alive though, so some of these hatches are not going to be open. Like the plasma beam room is not going to be open. I think there was something in there too. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see if I can time a shot. Yes, that's perfect. Plasma Beam eats right through this guy, too. He's probably like only one or two hits away from death. Yeah, one, look at that. I love fighting him with Plasma Beam. It's like the coolest thing ever. I love that red energy, too. I really do want them to make a Super Metroid Maker. I mean, I know there's ROM hacks where people have basically already done that. But something like Super Mario Maker, an official thing. Whoa, don't fall down, I want what's in there. Missiles. I need them. Because ideally I would like to not do the Zebatite skip again. Since it took so long. Oh, I know, I'm not going to do it. What the heck? None of that was intended, but I'll take it. <laughs> that was cool. Three for the price of one. I don't have space jump. Ah, crud. That's w messing with me, because every time I see screw attack, I'm just... I'm so used to space jump being there already. 
I think that is the real challenge of this seed. Not so much the low ammo count, if I'm gonna be honest. Because the ability to grab Plasma Beam early makes ammo not really a problem until Mother Brain 1. But no space jump forces you to know how to bomb jump like a pro in certain situations. I noticed it in Lower Norfair specifically. Alright, let's do it. Actually, even escaping this, I don't think I've ever done without space jump, but this seems very easily wall jumped. And I know you can leave Ridley's room with wall jumps. Whoa, look at that green eye! That's a cool color scheme of Ridley, I like it. He kind of has like a pale color to him too. I like his color better than the pink that he normally is, or the, the reddish. I don't know, something about yellow and green goes well together. And then just the brownishness. It's like a different type of dragon or ter- what is- what is Ridley? It takes after a dinosaur of some kind, right? It's not a dragon, it's a- it's not a pterodactyl either, it's the other thing. I don't know. It's- it's- it's not in my head, I can't think of it. I am using this charge shot way more than I normally do, that's for sure. I thought he was done for a second there. That was weird. Whoa, what? Do I have him in like a stuck pattern? I've never seen this before. This is crazy. He's gotta be dead. Oh, he's dead. Wow, that's a cool pose for him to die in. Look at Samus' little pivot foot. That's pretty cool. There we go. What was the reward for this again? I know I looked, but I forget now. Spazer. Does that default to... It does. Well, I don't want that. Give me back plasma. Yeah, see, that, again, just kind of... Makes me think plasma was meant to be obtained later on. Because that would have forced Ridley with low ammo counts and only wave and charge. Alright. Let's go to Spring Ball. Because that's where Ice Beam is. I do not want to miss that item. I was fast forwarding and I kept running into him. That's my damage. I took a lot of damage there. Ah, crud. Can you leave this without Spring Ball? Because I do not have Spring Ball yet. I might be regretting this. Oh, no. Ice Beam, I definitely need you to beat the game. I think. Can you? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you could definitely- why did I- wow, Spring Ball really is useless, except it's not. There are plenty of spots I love to have it. Alright, the Swamps of Meridia are done. Now we're ready for Norfair, which... The... Left room at the top of Bubble Mountain has some stuff, and I think that's like the only thing. There's nothing over here on the left side, there's nothing down by Crocomire. So we're just going to Bubble Mountain, and then to Ridley, in Lower Norfair. And see, I- when I first played this, and attempted to record it, actually... Um, that was- wow. There's nothing down here, either in the missile and the lava. That was a really, uh, well-timed freeze there. I don't think I've ever pulled that off, make a platform out of this dude. Uh, I was saying something. Oh yeah, my first time playing this. 
I never beat it. I just got pretty far into it. I got to lower Norfair, let's just say that. And then I actually used a moon jump code. I had to look up a moon jump code because I didn't know how to bomb jump. I just could not get the timing right. And uh, I had to moon jump my way into what speedrunners refer to the worst room in the game. That and the room immediately after Gold Terizo. Both require bomb jumping all the way to the top without space jump. But yeah, right up here, there are three missiles, which I definitely want because Mother Brain won. I don't remember where Spring Ball is. It's somewhere. Because I got it in the last attempt at this. Oh. This is a cozy room. I would definitely sleep on that little ledge. Set up a nice little tent. I mean, I don't know. It just I like the aesthetics of that room. But as far as I'm aware, wave beam and speed booster and all that stuff, there's nothing in there. Nothing was placed. So it's just down to lower north. Here we go. I was still saying something, I don't remember now. Um, all I'm thinking about now is how how much I take space jump for granted. Oh, we're gonna have to gravity jump too. That's the thing, I had to learn that my first time. It took a couple tries. It might take a couple tries again here. It's not a trick I'm used to doing, but it's actually really easy. I looked up a video tutorial of how to do it. And yeah, it's actually super easy. I don't know why I'm charging up here. Just felt like something to do. It doesn't take too long because these guys drop crazy ammo and stuff. Alright, we're good. Sixty missiles. Do you think that's enough to destroy all the Zebatites and Mother Brain in conjunction with the thirty supers? I don't know if there's more supers. I can't remember the totals. Yeah, this. This is what I was thinking of just now. I'm so used to just space jumping my way across all this, but now I gotta use grab, Which is cool. Yeah, and right here. I got here because I came here first before finishing off Ridley in Meridia. Because I saw that Dragon had space jump or something. I don't remember what. But yeah, right here. Like, I don't know how to get up here without space jump. I had to look up tricks. So here goes a gravity jump attempt. You gotta pause and hold A just as it like fades black. Switch off gravity, still holding A as you do it, and you get a crate. Yeah, that's not enough. I gotta try again. Hold on, put gravity back on before I die. There's also a way to just wall jump in between the spikes over there. Alright. Whoa, holy crap, yeah, there it is. Well, Vary is like a lime green. Did you see that? I got crazy height on That's like the first successful gravity jump I ever did. So that's cool. Thank you for pushing my skills to something I've never attempted before. So that was like the first thing I ran into. I was like, holy crap, how the heck do you get into Lower Norfair? And then, learning from my mistakes, I'm going this way first. Because I cannot bomb jump. I am telling you right now, I do not know how to bomb jump all the way to the ceiling of a room. I can't do it. So we are going forward and saving Gold Terizo, who does have some things. It's gonna make this room tough. No space jump. I gotta use power bombs. And just well-timed screw attack jumps. Yeah, this room. This room is ridiculous. Although, I think it's better than the room immediately after Gold Terezo, because there's a lip that you could maybe catch with a wall jump. Because there's no way I could bomb jump up here. I can't do it. It's something I gotta learn if I want to keep playing this game and playing harder seeds and stuff. But I have never been able to get the timing down there. Oh yeah, you could definitely get that. There was no lip like that in the room right after Gold Terezo where you normally get screw attack. Like you have to bomb jump out of that room if you don't have space jump. That! This is like the real challenge of this seed right here. There we go, got it, alright. 
Yeah, had I gone to Gold Teresa right now, like, I would have, I couldn't do it. I would have had to use a moon jump code or something. Because without space jump, I don't know how to get up that huge vertical chamber with no walls to clip onto. What is this? Energy tank, okay. I don't have space jump to get out of here either. I'm gonna fall down, aren't I? Yeah, I can't. Eh, yeah, crud. I gotta do it again, too, that crazy wall jump in the other room. Alright, I'm back. It took a couple tries, but I finally caught that lip again, and here we go. Oh crap, I don't have space jump for this room either! This is my first time getting this far. Wait, is there enough platforms to just go no Wow, there is. I think there- I don't think I've ever done this. I've always just space jumped my way up. I've never actually used all the platforms in this room. It's crazy. But again, that's like one of those items you take for granted, like how much space jump matters. I think there's some stuff over there. I should probably go check. Whoa, it's slowing down like crazy. But I know we're good at this point because space jump is the reward for beating Dragon down here. So then I could actually go get the ammo pickups that are by, uh, what's his face? Gold Terizo? I don't remember what this was. Was this Spring Ball? I, I don't even know. I never got this far, but I'm trying to remember looking at the map. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's actually convenient. I think the best places for Spring Ball are the, um, well, this. On the way back up through this room, it's very helpful to have Spring Ball. There's another spot that it's really useful, too. I can't think of it right now. Now ah, they're green instead of gold. Oh, yeah, we're good now. This is home free. So now the concern is just the low ammo for Mother Brain. Although 60 and 30, that seems like plenty. Especially if I save the super missiles for the tank. Like, once the glass is shattered on the face of the tank, then switch to supers and just pummel the brain. We should be good to at least enter Mother Brain Phase 2. And then that, you can use your charge beam for. I don't even know why I'm farming for stuff here. Coming off of that minimizer seat I just played. This is Dragon, and I have Grapple Beam. That's... What color is he gonna be, I wonder? Alright! <laughs> Just dancing up here. What is this stuff in the background? There's like boxes. Oh. But yeah, Lower Norfair, I would say, has been the biggest challenge of this seed. Oh wow, he's really green. I'm gonna use plasma on him. You know, not anymore. Now I'm going grapple. I wonder how many charged plasma shots take him down, though. Yeah, having to do gravity jump to gain access without space jump. Like, you have to do some kind of a trick without space jump in order to get into Lower Norfair. And then once in Lower Norfair, there's plenty of spots that, without space jump, are very, very difficult to climb. Especially that room where Screw Attack normally is, right after Gold Terizo. Like, the, you need to know how to bomb jump. That's the only way. Up to the top where the door is. If you don't know how to bomb jump, you can't escape that chamber. And that's the mistake I made with my first attempt. And there it is! Oh, it's good to see Space Jump. <laughs> so we're good now. Now it's just Mother Brain 1. Do we have enough ammo? Here we go! I actually skipped Gold Terizo. I might regret that because I do think I saw that there were, were pickups. But I think 60 and 30 is enough, and I've noticed with these plandomizers, when you enter Torian, it kind of refills all your ammo to max. I don't know why. Well, let's... Okay, never mind, it didn't do it. 
That's weird. I don't know what dictates that. Anyway, Ice Beam, thankfully. I think it's required to beat these Metroids, so... Good thing we went all the way to Spring Ball for that. I'm using the supers because... Actually, that's... I'm stupid. I should be using the regular missiles because there's the missile recharge right after the baby. I think it's five regular missiles on a frozen Metroid defeats it. But they tend to drop supers, so it doesn't matter. Look at that cheese down there. It looks like cheese. <laughs> that yellow. Alright, so as usual with these things, I'll just cut out all the baby nonsense after this last set of Metroids. And we shall see if we have enough ammo. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna Zebatite skip. Gotta be very careful. Everything's yellow. Oh no, don't eat it, Cheerios. 36 more missiles. And 23 supers. Okay. Last set. Alright, 13 and 23. Is that enough? Make sure everything connects. That's not good. It just ate one of my missiles. Alright, we have the brain exposed. Out of missiles now. Supers. Yes, we did it. Okay. Home free. Although, I'm going to have to use Charge Beam here more than I normally do. Unload what, what I have left. I've always been tempted to switch off a beam and try to use some of the Power Bomb ammo for beam attacks. Like, do the crazy plasma beam special. But I don't think it's worth it. You do more damage with just a regular charge shot, I do believe. So I kind of do have to watch my energy here. Until she starts throwing her ketchup beam. Then I know it's almost time. There it is. So a couple more charge shots and then she's probably ready to activate the end game sequence. I think we got it, yeah. Probably only have to sit through it once too. Because of the state of my energy. Nice. Wow, look at how deep green that Metroid is, too. And there you go. Another one down. Although I guess I still gotta escape, but that's usually not a problem. Mother Brain has got some serious gang green or something with that color. So that's good to know, though. 60 missiles and 30 supers is enough to not have to Zebatite skip. I had only like 40 going into this room, too, standard missiles. So 40 missiles and like roughly 20 supers is enough to get to Mother Brain 2 and start the end game sequence. That is useful knowledge for creating more seeds in the future that are focused on low ammo counts. Because that's the thing, like how many more setups could we possibly create that could create different scenarios and stuff? Because I feel like we've been touching on them. Whoa, holy crap! How the heck did I miss that? Just a little bit early there. Everything's glowing yellow again. All the reds are yellow. Ah, nuts, man. I'm playing like garbage. It really does feel like this playthrough in particular, my controller is not responding as well as it has been in previous seeds. I hope it's not breaking. It wasn't exactly cheap either, even though it's not the best USB Super Nintendo controller. Alright, once again, do not miss this shine spark, please. I don't really feel like saving the animals right now. Although there is an option it's not a default, you have to manually check it. 
but there is in like the uh, the fun settings where like you could speed up transitions and there's a few other things but one of them is to have a save the animals surprise and I don't know what that means like if you check that and then go save the animals what happens is it like a boss fight that would be actually super interesting well there you go I beat it thank you for making this seed shibi jeebies or Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> How long did it take? That one probably took a little bit longer because of the the backtracking through Meridia that was required. Since on the first pass he couldn't really beat Ridley. Or even get a Spring Ball. 101, hey! 113.01. Yeah, Alright. It's so about like 20 minutes faster or longer than my minimizer when I just did. But yeah, thank you for creating the seed. I would definitely say like <laughs> learning how to do lower Norfair without space jump was like the biggest challenge here that I, I never even thought of before. So that was really cool. So thanks for either intentionally or accidentally creating that scenario. I had to learn how to gravity jump and I didn't learn how to bomb jump, but I figured out just don't go to Gold Terizo first if you can't bomb jump without space jump. Go the other way. Assuming that you can. So yeah, I think I missed some stuff too. Because like I did bypass Gold Terizo, so that's not 100% of what you placed. But thanks a lot. And I will see you guys in the future. Take care.